Hi guys, how are you doing? Good morning to you. Um, so this week we are going to be kicking off Nutrition Week and so what you're going to see from me is all of my posts in the morning are going to be something nutrition related. I want to preface by saying I'm not a dietitian, I am not an expert, um, but I am going to be sharing with you some of the things that I've learned and also some of the resources that have been really helpful for me. So before I kind of get into um, some some things today, if you have any questions that you want answered um, around nutrition or things that you're struggling with around nutrition, comment below because I would love for all of us to weigh in on that. And any struggles that we have, I can guarantee that most of us in this group, myself included, have those same struggles. And we would benefit from learning from one another about how other people handle that. This week, some of the topics that I plan to cover are things like cravings for food and what that means. Um, so cravings versus kind of mindless eating. Um, I want to talk a little bit about macronutrients because there's been some questions about that. And I want to talk a little bit about carb cycling. Um, these are things that I'm learning about. And I know that some of you in the group are way more expert than I am. So I would love for you to weigh in at any time about any of those topics. But today, I just want to talk about why nutrition is so, so, so important in everything that we do. Um, so I'm going to be super upfront with all of you. Um, there's been a couple people that have left our group, and I understand that 100%. There are some people that maybe this group isn't the best fit for, or they feel overwhelmed, or they're tired of the notifications on their phone. I get that. But when I reached out to them to say, what can I do that, or what could I have done to make that better? A lot of them will say something like, well, you know, it's all about working out and that's not where I am and that's um, not where my focus is right now and I really need it to be on nutrition. And it made me think a little bit about that that is true. You know, like we do post a lot of our sweaty selfies because that's something that we should be doing and I don't want that to stop by the way. It's just something that we're super proud of and it's something that you can accomplish during your day and you can post it and you can say I've checked that box off and I've done something really healthy for myself today. And that is such a huge piece of the equation but the bottom line is nutrition is 80% of the equation when it comes to weight loss, when it comes to getting results that you want. So I want to focus a little bit more this week just on that part because um, this is, it's so vital to what we do and we can derail all of our progress in working out when we don't focus on the nutrition piece. Okay, so here are some things that I've learned, okay? I have, I've been open and you guys all know that I've struggled with food, I've had an eating disorder. There's been, I've done like horrendous things to my body around eating and nutrition and um, but the benefit, the good news is that, is that I've learned a lot and um, I, probably have done everything known to man um, to try to lose weight. Um, and all of those those fad diets, all of those things that you've probably read about or you've tried do not work. They never do. So here's the things that I want to share with you this week just to get our minds in the right place. The first is that it's 80% of the equation. So there is never going to be a time where you can out train a bad diet. There have been times I've shared this before where I were, I was running literally 70 to 80 miles a week and I was gaining weight because I was not number one, I was under eating. Um, I wasn't fueling my body appropriately and I was eating the wrong foods. So no matter how much you work out, if you are not eating correctly, if you are not feeding your body the way that you should, you will not lose the weight. You will gain weight. You will, um, not see the results that you're looking for. The the other big thing is that metabolism, and this, this has really, really connected with me. Metabolism is like a fire. You wanna keep that fire burning all day long. So if you think about a fire, if it starts to burn out, you wouldn't just go up to that fire. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna try to get out this light here behind my window. Um, you wouldn't just go up to that fire and dump a ton of logs on it and then hope that it starts burning really fast again. And I think too often that is something that I've done. I will wait till I am absolutely ravenous to eat um, or I'll, I'll try to hold off eating for a super long time to the point where I'm so hungry and then I eat so much food that it really backfires on my metabolism. Number one, I feel super full. I don't feel good. I feel bloated. Um, and 
through that, I've kind of taught my body to slow my metabolism down because it's learned that if I am, I'm going to eat breakfast and then I'm going to wait eight hours to eat or six hours to eat and it's super hungry and I'm ignoring that signal for too long, my metabolism starts to think that I'm in trouble and so it starts to slow down and it starts to hold on to weight because it's, because I'm in starvation mode. So if you want to lose weight, you have to be able to eat to burn. I know that kind of sounds counterintuitive, but you have to eat to burn. Um, there's so many different schools of thoughts on this. Some people are proponents for three meals a day and you get what you need and you stay full for the next four hours. Some people are into six meals a day. You need to find what works for you. But the bottom line is that you shouldn't be going so long that you're so, so, so hungry that you end up eating everything in sight or feeling really disgusting after you're eating or feeling like, um, you can't tune into your hunger signals. Um, and ignoring them as some badge of honor for you, okay? So eat, make sure that you're eating, make sure that you're eating enough calories to fuel what you're doing. Um, the second thing is that skipping meals never works. It's the same thing that I just talked about. You can't save calories, don't try to hold off so that you can have dessert or whatever, or a glass of wine. Eat regularly if you need to modify what you're going to eat so that you can maybe bank a couple extra things that toward the end of the day, do that. But don't skip meals because you're just damaging your metabolism when you do that. Um, and um, the third thing that I want to talk about is this. And I, I, I want to address this because I think it's really important in this group. There are times where you might want to be super, super, super regimented with your nutrition because you have an event coming up, because you want to look good, you want to feel good, you want to, you want to get into those genes, whatever your goal is. That is okay. There are also times where you might not want to be super regimented. You might have a lot of things going on. You might have a lot of parties. You might want to just try to do your best to stick to the 80-20 rule, and that's okay too. But I think what we have to remember is that if we can, for some, for some of us, this is so hard, myself included, you guys, 80% of the time, if we can keep our diets pretty well balanced, we can get in what we need, we can eat really healthy, that 20% where you have the glass of wine, you have the cupcake, you have the, the chocolate is not going to derail your diet. Okay. So you, there is no such thing as a bad food. I shouldn't, I guess I shouldn't say that. There are some processed foods that are actually really, really bad, but there's no such thing as something that's off limits or you can never have again or you can't handle. It's just that the majority of your choices should be healthy. The majority of your choices should be respectful of your body. And what I mean by respectful of your body is you're fueling it appropriately and you're keeping, um, you're keeping your, yourself, your, I'm sorry, you're listening to your hunger signals. You're keeping what your body is telling you in mind. Okay. So think about those things this week. And then also let me know what you're wondering about, because I want this to be beneficial to you. Um, and I know all of us are in different places with where we're at with our nutrition. Um, I've got some kids calling my name. My half an hour of work time is almost up, but let me know what you're thinking. I'm excited for this week to start. I'm excited because I think it'll help refocus me too. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.